Welcome to the William Thompson House. Today is episode three of um, Kevin Restoring the Mantle. Okay, Kevin, go ahead. This is a piece of the trim we had made that duplicated what was there going by the ghost marks that we had on the block down below and what markings we had off of the uh, fireplace backing. So we had this made, made out of poplar, and it follows the lines exactly of what was there. And so we're gonna put this up on the top and on the sides as the ghost lines had designated. It shows the finished casing around the opening of the hearth. The next step will be the piece of center panel that goes in the middle. Before we put that up though, I wanted to make sure that we get a good picture of, there's a marking that was on this base uh, of the mantle to begin with. And it was a curious marking. Um, and I'm thinking somebody was playing with the idea of what they were going to do with the center panel and it looks like the beginnings of a sunburst on those markings because they're evenly spaced. Well, this is a piece of hemlock, a 200 year old piece of hemlock. The only thing I had at 18 and a half inches wide but it sanded up real nice and I think it's going to make a nice center panel. And that fits in there nice and tight like that. Okay. Alright, this is the left side of the final trim that I'm using on this. It follows the ghost lines, our road map that we had to re restore or revive this mantle. Um, it falls even with the center panel and then we'll get this finished off. Okay, when we're done putting this stuff together, we like to use some of the original nails that I save when I take these things apart and pepper them about in some of the trim just so that it makes it look authentic when it's all done and painted. Don't let me antique this too much. We save all kinds of nails, including this is one I took out this morning that's actually a cut nail out of a very small piece of trim. Okay. The things we found with the ghost lines is this outline of a taper holder that they used to use to, to light their pipes and light the other fires. They used to stick uh, tapers in a container right on the mantelpiece. And this ghost line was there. The other things that we had talked about before, maybe was the, the fact that this, this blue was the original color. You can see that this is bare wood underneath the blue. This is a milk paint, and this was the original shade. And we actually found this color on the Williamsburg chart. It's called Nelson House Blue, and the owner likes it. So we're gonna actually use the original color on the trim in the room.